Thank you for your patience as we made a tra transition hopefully quickly right there. This is our symphonic band, and um, we're going to open with a piece titled Arrows by Samuel Hazer.
if you weren't awake, hopefully you are now. <laughs> There's a lot of energy in that last piece. We're going to change um, to a type of piece that's very, very different. And um, we're really, really excited to bring a guest uh, to the stage to perform with us. Um, this is uh, Mrs. Marie Bolin, and she is new to Parkway West and serves as the, the pianist in our department. She's in all of the choral classes and um, works with our choirs, and she accompanied many of our students at State Solo and Ensemble, and she's a great musician. And um, she told me that she loved this piece, and I said, well, let's do it in concert and play with us. So really excited to welcome, um, welcome her and um, perform this little lullaby by Eric Whitaker. So let's welcome Mrs. Bowen, please. Oh. 
beautiful piece. Hopefully you were able to read the program notes and the text that that was written for. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it said that or not, but that composer wrote that piece um, for an animated film that got canceled, and instead they made Kung Fu Panda. So, <laughs> fun bit of trivia for you. Um, this next piece, if you looked at your program, you probably already caught uh, the, the typo. And the sad part is, Mr. Wallace made this, and he's like, hey, check it. And I read it through, I'm like, yeah, it looks great. And he double-checked it, and he's like, looks great. And he's like, check it again. I'm like, okay, looks great. And then we had our all the band directors, high school band directors, get together about once a month this a collaboration time, and we, we showed them our program, and Doug Hoover, the central band director, looked at the program, and he goes, who composed Mount Everest? Just right away. And you might have noticed it says Mount Everest composed by Mount Everest. Um, and while that's fun, like a fun thought experiment, that's not how it went. Um, it's by a composer named Rosano Galante. Um, he's written a lot of music for band, um, and it, you'll get hints of John Williams a lot throughout uh, this piece. Very cinematic, lots of energy. Um, so I hope you enjoy Mount Everest, not by itself. <laughs>
right. Before we play our final tune of the evening for you and send you all home, hopefully with some of these melodies uh, in your mind, uh, we want to acknowledge uh, a few groups and individuals, um, quite a few. Uh, first of all, I, mis I mentioned the Misha uh, Large Ensemble Festival that the concert band earned an exemplary rating at. They were not the only group at Parkway West High School to earn that uh, in the band department. Uh, the symphonic band in front of you also earned the highest rating that you can earn. Uh, so please give them a round of applause for the symphony Hopefully you also noticed the students in the back of the band um, were out here for both groups. So we want to give a big shout out and a big round of applause to our percussion section playing with both bands, learning double music. Uh, As we begin the Symphonic Band Awards, we want to thank all of these students again, seated before you for their contributions. Um, you can't do it without every student down here, and um, they all deserve um, an award, so it makes this very tough to, to sing, uh, single these down. So first, we're going to acknowledge our solo and ensemble participants at the district level. Um, the following Symphonic Band students received an exemplary or excellent rating at the District Solo and Ensemble event in March at Parkway Central. Please hold your applause until all names are read. Lacey Roberts, Nathan Zhao, Sam Wren, Michael Feng, Adam Lambert, Olivia Davis, Govan Menon, Ryder Risco, Amelia Evans, Eli Persha, Nora Detchmendi, Carly Strauss, Jane Wilde, Alexandra DeLuca, Gail Crane, Vivian Chen, Hong Chan Su, Devin Melter, Matthew Fang, Lillian McGuire, Cami Levy, Dominic Perez, and Charlie Robinson. <laughs> Last Thursday, we had 20 students perform at the Michigan State Solo, Solo and Ensemble Festival. Would the following students please stand when your name is called and go to Mr. Wallace to receive your medal from Misha. Again, please hold your applause until all names have been read. Sam Wren, Olivia Davis, Govan Menon, Ryder Risco, Amelia Evans, Carly Strauss, Jane Wilde, Alexandra DeLuca, Gail Crane, Vivian Chen, Hong Chan Su, Devin Melter, and Charlie Robinson. This is a good problem to have, a long line for, for awards. Okay. Uh, now to continue with our awards, uh, we like to recognize outstanding freshmen each year. Um, this year we had two freshman students who went above and beyond, both from a musicianship and a leadership standpoint. Our two 2023 outstanding freshmen are Kara Purdy and Mascara Mahana. <laughs> Maybe we should have done the, the thing they do at the Oscars where they see them on the outside if they're going to win. They didn't know until they're high. So. Of course, they're all the way on the inside. Next, we'd like to acknowledge our most improved members. We've seen numerous students step up throughout the year and show both improvement and the willingness to always do their best. However, we want to recognize one student who stands out above all. Our 2023 most improved student is Sophia Zembrano. Oh. is the John Baker Memorial Scholarship. And um, if you look at the back part of the program, there's a, like a
like a single page, and that's kind of the history uh, of Bannon Parkway West, going back to 1968. And um, Mr. Baker, just a legendary figure here at West uh, for a long time. Um, the bands were very good when he was here and uh, respected nationally. And uh, you can read a little bit about him. Um, the Parkway Alumni Association has a scholarship that is, um, has been established for many years, and we always encourage students to apply for this. Uh, Mr. Baker served as the band member from 1978 to 1994 and passed away tragically in the year 2000. Um, and uh, we had several um, we had students apply each year, and we had one student chosen, and I'd like him to please stand, Mr. Dominic Perez. <laughs> we have here at West also, um, we recognize all of our marching band members back in the fall um, at a banquet. Um, but there's a tradition of recognizing um, a student um, at this concert. There's not a word for this, but we'd like to recognize our 2022 drum major. You did a great job. Go with Menon. up the auditions today um, for next year. The next award I have, um, going back to marching band, is the National School Marching Award. And this recognizes outstanding contributions on the field, um, leadership, dedication, and um, there's, we have a, in the, in the hallway next to the band, we have multiple plaques um, that list each award each year and who won it. Um, some of the awards go back several decades. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, and we have um, two students we'd like to recognize um, for the National Marching Award. And um, the winners this year are Matthew Fang and Govin Min. in our jazz program. Um, hopefully you were able to come to the uh, Jazz Coffee House concert last Tuesday. It was, it was a ton of fun, um, and you got to hear each of these students perform as well. First, we have the Woody Herman Jazz Award. The Woody Herman Jazz Award is given annually to an outstanding student that has shown tremendous potential in the jazz band. This student will have their name engraved on a plaque that will remain in the music hallway for many years to come. Our 2023 Woody Herman Jazz Award winner is Justin Beckstead. Justin played vibes in the big band and also played drum set in the combo. And I will miss hearing the Megalovania song quoted constantly throughout uh, rehearsal next year. All right, next, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. The Louis Armstrong Award was first given in 1974, shortly after this great jazz artist passed away in 1971. This is a national award, and it, is, it honors the most outstanding jazz musician at a high school. Only one student can receive this award each year. We have record of this award being given here at West as far back as 1976. Jesus. The winner of the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award will have their name engraved on a plaque that will remain in the music hallway for years to come. Our 2023 Louis Armstrong Jazz Award winner is Dakota Risco. <laughs> Drummer, and if you enjoyed the jazz band, you know why. All right, the Paul Carter Esprit de Corps Award. This award is given each year to a senior band member that displays a true allegiance to the band and exhibits passion, spirit, and energy in all that they do. These characteristics accurately describe Mr. Paul Carter. This award is given in his memory. The winner will have their name engraved on a plaque that will remain in the music hallway and will also be recognized at the awards assembly next month for this month. Our 2023 Paul Carter Award winner is Macy Ziegler. The next award 
award is the Patrick Gilmore Award. Patrick Gilmore Award is given.